all welcome here today. Um, we're out here on our study site and today what we'll be doing is collecting some data. So essentially this will be checking in on how the plots are progressing and then getting data and even taking some samples that we'll be sending off for analysis. Um, some of the things that we'll be looking at uh, as we near the end of the second year is just kind of um, measuring variables that by now the wine cap has had almost two years to kind of establish within the plots and hopefully had an impact on some of the variables that we'll be measuring today. We'll be looking at the tomato plant health overall, um, some of those variables, as well as uh, what the beds in general look like, um, depth, disease in the tomato plants. Um, and then we also have some corn that's been planted into each of the plots. So we'll be evaluating those. Um, and then finally, we'll be uh, collecting any yield um, it's been a little dry here recently and pretty warm, so I doubt we'll find any mushrooms. Uh, but the tomatoes are ready to harvest, so we'll, we'll be doing that as well. All right, so here we are at one of our control plots. So this plot doesn't have the mulch nor the wine cap mushroom, um, just the bare soil. And overall, just by appearance, the corn is definitely on the smaller side and kind of more of a yellow, not such a lush green. Um, but what we'll be doing is measuring overall height and to get an accurate um, height, we're gonna take the average of multiple measurements. So just by randoming, 33 inches here, 33, this one's shorter, looks like 26, 28, and 29. So what we'll do is take the average of all five measurements um, from each of the plots. Oh my god, my meter stick isn't tall enough. Alright, so we're here in control plot 3 and we're evaluating overall tomato health. Um, so some of the measurements are presence of disease, so you can definitely see some stress on this plant, um, some dying tissue. Uh, we're looking at fullness, greenness, um, and rating that on a scale from zero to 10. We're also going to be harvesting tomatoes and taking yield from each plant in each plot to get a good measurement. And remember, as we're looking at this one, uh, these control plots had no straw mulch or wine cap mushroom. All right, so here we are in wine cap bed three. Um, you can see overall tomato yield. It looks like we have more fruits to harvest. Uh, plants are larger and greener. Um, we still have some sign of disease, but not a lot of that dead tissue there on the bottom of the plants as we saw in the control plots. variables we'll be testing or measuring is overall bed depth. Um, obviously in the control there's no mulch material to measure. However, in the straw and the wine cap plots uh, there is still a mulch layer and what we've noticed is the the plots with the wine cap mushroom have broken down that mulch layer more significantly. So we expect to see that um, in beds such as this without the wine cap mushroom the measurements will be deeper. Here we are in one of the wine cap beds and we'll also be measuring bed depth down to that soil layer. Looks like about six and a half there. Mm -hmm. 